Hello, it is day six of our 12 days of crochet. So let's open box six and see what we're making today. We've got, it's another small one. So the hint for today was that there are 240 known species of this kind of animal. So I hope you locked your guesses in. Let's see what we're making. And it is, of course, a tiny frog. Now, I know we have a few frogs on this channel, but none of this tiny, okay? None of this small. Remember to post photos of your finished creatures to the Complicated Knots Discord or on Instagram using the tag hashtag 12 days of crochet to be in with a chance to receive a digital copy of all 12 written patterns. Let's get into it. Okay, so to make your little frog today, you're going to need 8 ply 100% acrylic yarn in one colour, as well as a little bit of white and a needle to add some finishing touches to his eyes. You're also going to need a pair of 9mm safety eyes, your 3.5mm hook, a couple of stitch markers will be helpful to you, and some stuffing. Okay, so I'm going to grab the green I'm using to make my frog, and we're going to start with a magic ring of six. Then row two is three repeats of a single crochet and an increase to get us up to nine stitches around. And row three is three repeats of a single crochet, an increase, and then a single crochet to get us up to 12 stitches. And it should be forming like this little triangle type shape. So in row four, we're going to be forming his little eye sockets. So we start with two single crochet, then three single crochet into the same stitch. And then we're going to work a five double crochet cluster for his eye socket. So how we do that is we yarn over our hook, insert into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. We then yarn over and pull through the first two loops on our hook. So that's kind of a little double crochet stub and we're going to repeat that four more times into the same stitch. Each time we'll add a new loop to your hook. And you should end up with six loops on your hook in total. Yarn over and pull through all six and then chain to lock it into place. So there is our first eye socket. We are now going to work four single crochet along. and repeat our cluster stitch to form his second eye socket. There are his two little peepers. So now to finish the round, we work three single crochet into the next stitch. And then two single crochet back to the start of our row. Then row five is 16 single crochet around. So we start by working five single crochet up to that first eye socket. Then put one single crochet into that cluster stitch. Four single crochet along the top of the head. A single crochet into the second cluster stitch. And then five single crochet back to our starting point. And at this point, you're going to want to stop and check to make sure that you still have 16 stitches around. So there is our froggy head. So in the next row, which is row six, we're going to be adding his first foot. So to start with, we're going to work 15 single crochet around to get to where we want that first foot to be placed. Like so. And now we're going to work our first foot. Now, if you were here on day three, you would have seen the feet we made on the platypus. And the frog actually has the exact same feet. But we'll go through them again now. When you look down at the stitch, you'll note that you have two loops. You've got a back loop and a front loop. These feet are worked entirely into one front loop. So we start by working a half double crochet, which is where you yarn over your hook, insert into that front loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. So you've got three on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So that's my half double crochet. I'm then going to work a pico, which is where you chain three. Then insert your hook through the first chain that you did and slip stitch into it. Like so. So what we've got there is a half double crochet and a pico, both into a front loop. 
So what we've got there is our first half double crochet and then a picot. And we're going to repeat that pairing two more times. So half double crochet and picot. That's twice. And last one, half double crochet and picot. Three toes. We're then going to half double crochet one more time into that front loop. So all of that's taken place inside the same stitch to finish off the foot. Now, before I continue on in the round, I'm gonna fold that foot forward, grab one of my stitch markers or bobby pins as it were, and mark the back loop that we didn't work into. So we're going to use that in the next round. And that is the end of row six. So the row seven starts with two single crochet and then we're going to do another foot in the next stitch. So half double crochet, pico. Half double crochet, pico. Half double crochet, pico. And a final half double crochet. Now remember, all of that takes place inside the same front loop and then we'll grab a stitch marker and mark the back loop. So there are his two front flippies. And now we continue on row seven. So the next stitch is a single crochet three together. I do an invisible version of this stitch where you simply insert your hook through the front loops of the next three stitches, yarn over and pull up a loop through all three of them, and then yarn over and complete your decrease. Then we work six single crochet along the top of his head. And we're going to work another single crochet three together. And we have just one more stitch left in the round and it's the one we attached our foot into. So find your first back loop that we marked and just work a single crochet into it. Like so. So that is the end of round seven. So round eight starts with two single crochet and where you work those is those two stitches that we worked in between the two flippers. So you might need to like bend your foot up and like twist your hook around. Then it's one and two. Then we fold the second foot forward and we're going to work a single crochet into the second marked back loop. And then find the first single crochet after that flipper and work a single crochet into that as well. And then the rest of this row is pretty simple. So we're going to work three single crochet into the next stitch. One, two, three, then four single crochet along his back, then three single crochet into the next stitch, and two single crochet to finish our round. So that is the end of row eight, and at this point we're going to stop and insert our eyes. So we have these two sort of eyeball tufts that you could do in an alternate colour if you wanted to just make those be your eyes. But for me, I'm going to use them as my eye sockets. And how that's going to work is I'm going to fold the cluster sort of up and out of the way to reveal the little gap underneath. I'm going to insert my eyes under each of those puffs. And then fold them back over the top. And then fold them back slightly over the top to act as an upper eyelid. So he's a very cranky looking little frog. Then just pop my backs on. Then I'm just going to pop my backs on. So we have these two sort of eyeball tufts that you could do in an alternate colour if you wanted to just make those be your eyes. But for me, I'm going to use them as my eye sockets. And how that's going to work is I'm going to fold the cluster sort of up and out of the way to reveal the little gap underneath. I'm going to insert my eyes under each of those puffs. And then fold them back slightly over the top to act as an upper eyelid. So he's a very cranky looking little frog. Then just pop my backs on. So now we are going to continue on into row nine. 
So row nine starts with five single crochet. We're then going to work three single crochet all into the same stitch. Then seven single crochet along his back. Three single crochet all into the same stitch. And then two single crochet to finish our round. Now you should pause at this point and check to make sure that you have 20 stitches available in your round. Okay, so next up is row 10 where we're going to be making his back feet. So start with 19 single crochet around to get to where we want the first foot to be positioned. Then we're going to work another foot just the same as we did our front feet into the next stitch. So half double crochet and then pico three times. And then one more half double crochet to finish. That's one of his back feet at the end of row 10. Then in row 11, we're going to work five single crochet across his tummy. And work his final foot into the next stitch. So once again, that's three repeats of a half double crochet and then a pico. And then a final half double crochet to finish the foot. Uh, before I go too much further, I did forget to mark the back loops of those stitches. It's indicated in the pattern to do so, so hopefully you guys didn't. I can still thankfully see them pretty easily. So there we go. We're then going to continue row 11 by working 13 single crochet back around to our first foot. And then we're going to single crochet into that first marked back loop. Which brings us to row 12. So row 12, we start by working five single crochet across the stomach. Then we single crochet into our marked back loop. Then it's two decreases. One and two. Five single crochet. And then two decreases and a single crochet to finish off the row. So we've got two more rows to go. Row 13 starts with six single crochet. Then we're going to single crochet three together. Four single crochet. And then finish the row with a single crochet three together. So your opening should be down to 12 stitches around and you're going to stuff your frog at this point. He doesn't take a lot of stuffing, but just enough to help him hold his shape. We're then going to finish our frog with one final row of six decreases. And finish off. So you'll be left with this little opening at the back. I'm going to take my tail and weave it through the front loops only of the six remaining stitches. And pull it tight to close. And then just going to tuck that end away inside the body, leaving the butt nice and pointy because to me that's a very quintessentially frog shape. And there is our flippery little friend. So I am just going to take... Where's my needle? You've got it again, bud. Can I have it? Let it go. Walter. Thank you. See so what these wombats. And I'm just going to stitch on the whites of his eyes. And hide any ends away. We we'll have to move these guys over a little bit. <laughs> so there is our little frog. I hope you had fun making him with me today. Uh, your hint for tomorrow. This animal is named for its curly tail. Don't forget to put your guesses in the comments. Okay, bye.